Okay, I'm going to redo uh, one of these pin insertions. I apologize for the shoulder on the previous one. I went to the junkyard and got another piston and wrist pin so I could actually show you the wrist pin going into the piston. That's how important I thought this was. I really apologize for not paying closer attention and getting in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and heat up this uh, the small end of this rod again. I'm going to get it nice and blue and then I'm going to slide this wrist pin through there and I'm going to get a nice quick fit without pressing a press fit pin in. I think it's pretty cool. Another thing I noticed as I went along is that it's almost not necessary to put the pin in the freezer. I think it's a, there's a negligible amount of shrinkage and what happens is when the pin is that cold it makes the end of the rod shrink much faster and it grabs it much faster than if it was just room temperature. So I'm not going to put this pin in the freezer. I'm just going to use it room temperature, put a, little, put a little oil on it, put oil inside of the openings on the piston, and I'm just going to wait until the end of this rod turns blue, put this torch down, and slide the pin in and it should go in just fine. I really, really, I'm feeling really bad about getting in the way and not paying attention uh, previous. So I went and got another one and we're gonna do this. I think it's turning blue. You may have noticed, those of you who are very observant and astute may have noticed that this rod is not the same as the others and this piston is actually used cleaned it up a little bit, but it's not one of my new pistons. This is out of the, out of the wrecking yard, and it is not new. See, are we turning blue? I think we're turning blue here. I'll make sure, because I don't want to have to do this again. So, error on the side of bigger and hotter. Put the torch down gently. And I will slide the pin in. The pin should slide right in. So here we go. Don't knock your torch over, start a fire if you're going to leave it lit. We're in a caution. I have a fire extinguisher and some water back there, so I'm going to try and be careful because I'm going to leave this torch lit because I want to take the time to turn it off. So here we go. Go room temperature and slides right in. As soon as you look at that, I still have time. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving, and then it grabs. So it, you do have a little bit more time by doing it room temperature. Okay, and there you have it. Thanks for watching.